guys welcome back to my channel so good to have you back today's recipe is going to be very special I'm going to be showing you how you can make your own avocado oil at home avocado oil has many uses and health benefits you can use it for cooking for your hair and skin treatment there are different methods of extracting avocado oil you can heat the pulp of the avocado to extract the oil and also you can sun dry it to bring out the oil in this video i'm not going to be using the heating method no sun is going to be applied i'm going to be using the cold press method to extract this oil so here i have six avocados but i'm not going to be using all of these i'm going to be using four of these ripe avocados so we are going to start by rinsing the avocados because i got this from the market but i need to rinse it first before we start extracting the oil I don't drink with my vegetables or fruits. I always make sure I rinse them before using it, especially if I'm using it on my skin or hair. I just make sure I take time to rinse them first before using them. So I'm going to be rinsing these. When rinsing this, just be careful so you don't bust the skin of the avocados. After rinsing my avocado fruits, I'm just going to pat this dry first. Okay, so I'm just going to be taking two out of this because I'm going to be using just four. We are going to start extracting the oil right away. So I'm going to work with one avocado at a time. We are going to need a sharp knife. So I'm going to just cut this open to remove the pits of the avocado. You don't need to throw the avocado pits away. You can easily use it to make avocado seed powder. So I'm cutting another one. I'm going to store this for later use. Okay, so after cutting this open, I'm just going to use a spoon to scoop out the avocado flesh. Just make sure you remove everything so you don't waste the avocado. Okay, you can just use your hand to pull out the peppery skin from the avocado flesh. When you're making avocado oil, just make sure you get very ripe avocados just like mine so that you end up with a good result. I'm just going to repeat this with the remaining avocados. I'm just going to show you the simplest method of making this oil. You don't need any expensive tool to make the oil. And to make this avocado oil, I'm going to be using this spoon to mix this. Or I'm just going to mash this until it forms a buttery paste. You can use a fork or a, a small spoon. I'm 
I'm just going to make sure I mash everything until there's no lump. Okay, so after mashing this, we have a very smooth paste here, so without any lumps. So I'm going to, we are going to spread this out to be very thin. So because the tray is quite small, I'm going to shade this into two. Okay, so I'm just going to switch over to a smaller spoon to, to help do the work better. So I'm done with this very one. After spreading this out, I just place this in a warm place in your kitchen and allow it to rest. As you keep this in a warm place, you notice the color begin to change. Okay, after 12 hours of leaving this in a warm place, the surface of the avocado has become slightly brown and look at it. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to use a spoon to mix this all over again because under is still greenish. So I'm going to just mix this with a spoon, just turn it over. Once I'm done mixing this, I'm still going to spread this out again. I'll do the same with this. Once I'm done spreading this out, I'm still going to leave this in a warm and airy place for the water to evaporate completely. So guys, so after leaving this for another 12 hours, I'm still going to mix this one more time because there's still greenish avocado paste under, so I'm going to just mix it again. So I'm still going to spread this out. If you look closely, you will notice the oil is beginning to form. But we are still going to leave this in an airy place for maybe let's say four hours again. Okay, so after some hours of leaving this again, the paste has totally changed color. Look at it. If you just press this with a spoon, you'll notice some traces of oil at the top. So now I'm just going to bring everything together. It's now time to squeeze out the oil. So I'm going to bring all the paste together. Ok 
Okay, this is all the avocado paste. It has drastically reduced after a drying this. To, to squeeze the avocado oil, I'm just going to place the cheese cloth over a small bowl. Then I'm going to bring the paste of the avocado into it. So after that, I'm just going to bring the cloth together, just join all the ends together like this. Okay, I'm now going to squeeze out the oil with my hand. Wow, so you can notice the quantity of oil flowing out. Even without even squeezing this tightly, the oil is just flowing out easily. I love to see this. Now you can start making your avocado oil at home. It's quite easy. It took me about one and a half day to get this cold pressed avocado oil ready. So if you want more of the oil, you should use more avocado for this. Okay. I used four and this is the quantity I've gotten. So, okay, so the oil has reduced from the paste. I'm just going to stop squeezing. Okay, this is the paste. It still looks as if it still has more oil, but I'm going to be squeezing this later. So I'm going to keep this aside for now. Okay, so after squeezing this out, we are going to strain the oil into a clean container. Okay, so now we are done. Your cold pressed avocado oil is ready. You can now store this in an airtight container and use it on your skin, your hair and anything that calls for avocado oil this is purely natural 100 percent virgin cold praised avocado oil i hope you love this video if you're new to my channel please remember to subscribe give me a thumbs up and also share this video with your friends let me know in the comment section if there's any other oil you want to learn from me thank you guys for watching until next time have a nice day bye